Oh, boys, today is the day. I cannot believe this already. Lucifer is headed to its new home. Keith Lebaninski, winner of Dream Diesel giveaway number 17. Lucifer, the L5P Denali with the 67 millimeter Stealth 67 Turbo. Whirly Fab, 750 horsepower built trans, 24 by 14s, 1500 headlights and taillights, fully built by yours truly, and $30,000 in cash. We're not writing a check this time. Actual cash money is being exchanged. He flew in last night from Minnesota. We are picking him up at his hotel. He got in a little bit late, so we're getting a little bit of a later start for the morning. But we wanted to make sure that they were well rested. Now, if you mark your calendars for June 1st, congratulations, you already know. But if you haven't heard, welcome to Dream Diesel Giveaway 18. Dream Diesel giveaway number 18 is now officially live. Today is the official kickoff. Well, technically this morning was, but you're, if you're catching this vlog on June 1st, then it still counts. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you now have a chance to enter for Sarge, AKA the one of a kind 2020 Gloss Army Green F450 Platinum. And yes, you guessed it, $30,000 in cash. Now something extremely important to note is the fact that the first week we're running 15 times the normal entries, which is full transparency here, ladies and gentlemen, the highest multiplier for the entire campaign. No hidden secrets. Your time could be now. No pressure, of course, to get entered, but this thing is freaking sweet. And we decided to take it out to pick up Keith so he could see it truly for himself. Because believe me when I tell you, seeing it online versus seeing it in person is a completely different experience. It only gets better. We're about a half hour away. I'm so excited to meet him. He brought his friend AJ out for the ride home. I believe AJ actually also entered some of our previous giveaways. So it's pretty cool to think that his friend won and he too gets the experience because his friend won. Just think, that could be one of you guys as well. Oh my God, guys, I've got really bad news. I hate opening my vlogs with bad news. I never open my vlogs with bad news, but it's something related to me. Ah, oh, the whole winter vlog, which is actually the vlog that was supposed to go up today, was filmed with Keith Lipinski, but I didn't realize that my microphone was actually destroyed from the previous video. If you hadn't seen it, it's titled, I waited 30 years for this, and I'm gonna put it up in the top of the screen. If you guys wanna go watch it, you'll see exactly the moment when, oh, what was that noise, James? <laughs> Camera microphone decided to go rogue because I guess it just couldn't handle the excitement. Believe me when I tell you, there was an exuberant amount of excitement expressed in that video. Now we had an absolutely awesome day together. I'm so pumped about having him and his friend AJ in. I'm somewhat kind of narrating this video because I have it all filmed. It's just as you guys saw, there's absolutely no sound associated with it, which is kind of a bummer because man, Keith was awesome. And same with his friend AJ stating that he won Lucifer and $30,000 cash. He called AJ and said, dude, you wouldn't believe the call that I just got. I picked him up, we took him out to breakfast because we picked him up on Friday morning, we hung out, we got to know each other for a little while. It's an awesome opportunity for me to sit down and understand the other side of this camera screen. I love to understand who it is that makes up this platform and makes up my following because most of the time I'm just sitting here chatting with you guys this way, which is awesome. And I absolutely love it because I feel like I know all of you so well, which seems absolutely ridiculous, but it's oh so true. I feel like you guys are my family. Following, we shot down to the one and the only Marietta Notary, where we got the title and the truck registered on temporary plates in Keith's name. I kind of held out on him to really build the suspense. So about four hours after picking him up, we did the breakfast thing. We went to the notary. They were a little busy. They got us in and out. We headed to the shop. And I can say with confidence that that was an experience that he'll never forget. Walking in on Lucifer for the first time. Now it's kind of cool because as we all are, is a big automotive enthusiast specific to diesels and a big diesel lover in that. He actually has a fourth gen Cummins right now, which is like a Delmonico red, very similar to Delmonico, AKA Dream Diesel Giveaway 16, but he's got a small loan on it. So as a matter of fact, he won Lucifer, which was the fourth red truck we ever gave away. And he happens to be a huge fan of the color. Now Cummins guy getting into a Duramax platform left him some options and that was either keep Lucifer or keep his Cummins. And he said that he plans on actually selling his Cummins because he's gonna be completely removed from his debt obligation on that truck. He's no longer gonna have any payments because he has the title in his hand for Lucifer plus a stack of $30,000 in cash to go along with it. Dude, I have looked so forward to this. 
$30,000 right here. Holy buckets. Historically, I awarded the cash prize to everybody in the form of a check. I get freaked out like carrying this much cash around, you know? It's not every day, just so you know. But there it is right there, and it's yours. Nice. It is 100% yours. It's a lot of cash. He was the first winner that we ever gave a fat stack of cash to. Which, by the way, could be you if you decide to get entered for Sarge in your draw as the winner from our third-party sweepstakes administrator. It never gets old for me giving away these trucks because it's an honest blessing. A few of our past winners have actually sold their trucks, which really doesn't bother me. I've gotten some messages from you guys asking if it upsets me at all, and honestly, it doesn't because we're changing people's lives. None of you would ever ask this, but to the average person that maybe doesn't get it, they'd say, well, how does a truck change your life? Well, you own that truck. And if you decide to maybe sell it one day like some of our winners did, you're gonna get a really fat stack of cash for that truck because it's a capital asset. It has solvency, meaning that it's worth cash on the market. Some people went out and bought other cars. Some people even paid off their house. Just think about that. That's how it could change your life. Just as a little practice there. Now, it was a pretty cool video, which I was also excited about showing you guys because on their way back, they were actually gonna be passing the second prize winner of Dream Diesel Giveaway number 17, Philip Meyer, who lives in Polk, Ohio. He won the KTM EXCF 500. So Keith, the super awesome dude that he was, offered to actually deliver it to Philip because I had mentioned that I needed to work out the logistics to get it delivered to him. So he actually took the KTM and delivered it to Philip for us. Now, unfortunately, Philip was at work, so we couldn't get any pictures, but it is now delivered. And that was the first time ever with any of our additional prizes in the giveaways where one winner could take it and actually deliver it to another winner and winners could link up. Plus, I was really excited that Phil was gonna be able to see Lucifer in person, but you know, you gotta work and duty calls. Welcome to Lucifer, your new truck that you happen to conveniently win for that t-shirt right there. And that hat right there. Do you have the 30 large? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm still a little stressed out about it if you can't tell. <laughs> All of the whistles, my. How is it back there, AJ? Awesome. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> still jealous. <laughs> I think he. <laughs> Though. Yes, my friends. Quick little pit stop here at the local Exxon station to fill up Lucifer for the last time. What a bittersweet moment, guys. We're gonna have to do another build just like this one, mimicked after this one, hopefully here in the near future. But we do have the OG 2.0 build starting off very soon. I'm so excited about it. Also, big shout out to this guy right here out of Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania, Cormart. The driver of this truck, absolutely awesome dude. Pulled in here, stepped out of the truck to go in and pay. And he was like, yo, can I grab a picture of that thing? It's awesome. I've got one brand new, but it looks nothing Thing as good as that one right there. And I said, yeah, no problem. Just ask the guy that won it by grabbing himself a t-shirt online. And he goes, what? And I'm like, yeah, dude, ask him. Seriously, I'm not making this up. Sat out here and chatted for a few minutes. I'm sure it was probably a pretty cool experience for Keith. Two compliments at one fill up, brother. Don't let me go. Not all that bad if I do say so myself. All right, boys, so we had to bring Keith and AJ up here to the homestead, not only to flex Dream Diesel Giveaway number 18 and 17 at the same time for the last time here on the vlog, but also because we got the certificate of ownership that's going to be going out to Phil in Ohio with the title of the truck and the cash and the winner and his homie. Yeah. It's been an absolutely awesome day, dude. Thank you, sir. Thanks for being an awesome dude. No more deserving. AJ, thanks for being a nice great friend of this man. I appreciate you guys coming out, having a great time. Y'all are just super, super down to earth. And it's it's awesome to see that. Every single one of our winners are just awesome in and of their own retrospects. And that's like the biggest blessing to be able to just hang out with you guys who never even met yeah, each other. Yeah. And it felt like we've been homies yeah. since day one. Safe travels back. They've got six hours to Philip Meyer in Polk, Ohio, and then another 10 hours from there. Well, enjoy, enjoy the impromptu vacation, boys, oh, yeah. and enjoy Lucifer. She will be missed. Everybody on the vlog will collectively miss this truck. But it won't be the last of its kind. I don't know if we'll ever be able to compete with this, but we're sure as hell gonna try. Here's boys, it was a pleasure. Last time seeing 17 with 18. My God, look at how sick that thing is though. The caliber of these builds continues to grow and evolve and Lucifer will always be one of kind. My goodness. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're gonna wrap that up. I just kind of wanted to summarize everything that happened that day because I tend to always have 
camera issues. <laughs> it's been an absolutely gorgeous Memorial Day. Beautiful, sunny and clear skies. Partly cloudy in Pennsylvania today, 71 degrees. Got a little bit of sunburn on my shoulders and I'm not complaining by any means. We did as most people do on Memorial Day and we celebrated. Not only did we celebrate life, we celebrated the blessings of life, but we also celebrated the lives that were sacrificed for our freedoms because boys and girls, quick lesson for you guys. Freedom is not in fact free, but it's interesting that free is in that word that we all tend to somewhat take for granted. And I'm not saying that we all take it for granted, it's just that life sometimes gets in the way. And when life and the pressures of your life start to kind of overwhelm you, just step back for a minute and realize that somebody paid their life, the ultimate price, to allow you to have the life that you have today in the freedom of the land that we call home. And for that, I am eternally grateful. I remind myself daily of the fact that we are extremely blessed just to live in the United States. And my prayers go out to the families that suffered loss for that ultimate sacrifice. I wanna thank all of my veterans, those that are active and now retired for your service. We are eternally grateful. And I'm speaking not only on behalf of myself and my family, my pups, but also every single individual that watches this YouTube channel because I know collectively that we all share the same values. Now let's talk a little bit about the homestead, shall we? We've been up to some projects lately, but I gotta talk to you guys about the rocks. Remember when we were doing all the preparation on the site, we had talked about the rocks and the rocks and the rocks. Well, come to find out, boulders have barter value, not only for cash, we did sell some of them the local landscapers. You can see I have kind of a little access road here. I put all the rocks up here so that way the trucks could come in my driveway, they could bring their piece of equipment, whether it's a skid steer or a mini excavator, and load out what they needed. Those ones are actually all claimed for as we speak. They're gonna be picked up this week. But this time, the landscaper that's picking these up asked me what I wanted per rock. And I said, you know what, I don't want any money. Rather, America was built on the barter system back in the day, and, and with boulders, we can barter. Do you have a mini excavator that I can use? And they dropped this thing off for me for the week. So it's kind of a cool little thing. See, when life gives you rocks, leverage them. So I'm working on a little project here where I'm running some electrical from the house through some conduit that's semi-fished. I just wanted to run it under the driveway so I could actually navigate my property. There you can see we've got some three quarter inch on the right side here. We've got it on the left side and it is capped off because I actually don't have the wire that I need to feed through that yet. I don't really want to fish a ton of wire through a ton of conduit because God forbid uh, it came dislodged, that wouldn't be a good situation. But we did go ahead and trench from the front area there all the way down 250 foot to the house. As you guys can see, I was out working here a while with that 121-3. It's a very nice machine, kind of small compared to the 80s that I've run from Kubota. Quite powerful with that little one foot bucket on it. Lots of leverage there. So we didn't go all that deep and I ran it kind of to the right of my driveway. You can see here's our second piece of conduit that actually runs completely under the driveway. I kind of use this rock as a marking point for where the conduit runs, which is kind of straight down here. I need to actually get it connected to the house and tap into a 20 amp circuit so that way we can get everything nice and hooked up. I'm also gonna be running some ethernet through here as well. I'm really excited about this. We will be talking about it in another vlog, but I figured I'd show you guys some of the stuff that's happening on the back end. Where's Ozzy, bud? Oz, Ozzy. Oh, there he is. What's up, dude? Get back here, lazy pants. Some other activities up at the homestead consisted of a serious burn. I gotta thank my neighbor, Jason, and his uncle, Matt, for helping out tremendously there. Uncle Matt was actually running the big old Caterpillar excavator, and they had burned all of what we cleared out for where the shop is going to be going. We had a massive brush pile back here. I think some of you guys can probably remember that. If you're tracking the homestead progress, now all we have is a small little smoldering batch and as a result of that, this is all that's left, which is absolutely fantastic. We actually decided to do the burn in the hole that we used to bury the rock. Hopefully most of this stuff will smolder down. It definitely still has a lot of heat to it. And then we can kind of just bury all the ash and call it a day. It's pretty crazy to see just how much debris went into this. And now it's literally just ash and coals. The rest of the property is cleared out, as you can see, other than some minor garbage, which I'm gonna have to find a home for. Auto Ozzy, come here. As you can see, we were staying plenty hydrated this week. Oh, boys, cheers to all the veterans out in the audience. I love you guys, and I'm super, super grateful for your service. And it's still ice cold. Man, these Yetis do work pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. Close up the windows. Put the door down, right, bud? Is that good and weather tight, right? You got a bug, but that's not a tick. Check your butt. Flashing the camera, dude, you're giving them the full moon. 
And when you have an excavator, ask the Emax Rhino, you tend to get a little carried away with the product project potential. There was actually a really big rock it was like right there on the property. I kind of like this, boys. We're just chilling, having a beer right now. It's kind of cool. I don't do this often. Usually it's all about the grind, but we're winding down tonight. There's a big rock right there, and there was like all these big stumps in here, and I decided to pull all that out. You can see all the track marks from the skitter. And that little 121.3 actually ended up pulling out that big rock right there to the right of really big rock. And last but not least, I wanted to give you guys a quick little update about the new building. We are almost free and clear. We're just waiting for the final approvals of our permits, both for stormwater management and the building permit. I'm pretty superstitious. Uh, yeah, very superstitious as a matter of fact. And I love to kind of just let action speak louder than words. So I haven't really wanted to talk too much about some of the hoops that I've had to jump through, but I will definitely go over the entire process from start to finish once we have all of our approvals and we're free and clear to start erecting a building. But I can tell you guys that I had to just jump through one pretty big hoop and it went well. It actually went up to either have local neighbors support or contest and uh, five neighbors showed up just because they wanted to support the project and it was kind of cool. They basically said that Jack's a really good neighbor and you should just let him do what he wishes with his property. And to those neighbors that know who they are, I greatly appreciate you. Oh, and we have a stranger on the vlog pulling in right now. Who could it be? Otto, come here. He doesn't really get the concept of moving for a vehicle. We gotta keep track of this one though. Hey, it's Jake from Enthusiast. What's up, homie? Yeah. Yo, check that out, dog. We had a really good time in this upload. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Do you want to know what sucks about Tuesday's upload? This is Tuesday's upload. What's Tuesday's upload? Homie, the freaking mic broke in this vlog. You'll see it. And the whole vlog that I filmed with Keith, silent. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I can't make it up. What? So I'm taking through every, I'm taking everybody through my day. It's going pretty well. No. Oh. Yeah, it's sad. Oh, that is tragic. I feel bad for Keith. I know. It's a bummer. Man. Nice truck, by the way. It looks like you were exploring with it. No, dude. It was just muddy as crap in the campground. Jake went camping this weekend. How, did you sleep well? Oh, I slept great. Yeah? Was it dry? No. 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 Still good. But when I went to Colorado, there was three feet of snow. So I was definitely thinking about you under the roof of my house. Dude, it was actually really nice. It was good? I like fell asleep to the rain Saturday night. I was like, all right, cool. All right, you're making me tired. I know, it was nice. <laughs> it's like white noise. Always looking great, though. Dude, I'm telling you, right? I think that should just be the new look. We should 100% leave it with the factory wheels on the back and the big old 38s <laughs> up front. How many heads do you think that would snap? They would just feel so bad for that truck. When you run out of money halfway through your bill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Should have done a better job budgeting. Yeah. Oh, the LBZ, my friends, look at that. So yes, getting back to what I was saying in preparation to build, we're actually gonna be doing a lot of that ourselves and I'm gonna be bringing you guys along. A really good friend of mine who actually goes by the name of Mike Good is going to be kind of leading the pack and we're just gonna kind of follow and do what he needs us to do. And in preparation, I actually went out and picked ourselves up a pretty nice Belltech auger. We've got an 18 inch auger bit that can go, I think it's up to like 43 inches deep or 42 inches deep. I believe the requirements are 18 inches by 42 inches. So we're gonna bury that sucker in the ground out here. We're gonna be doing nearly, what is it, 20. So we got 10 holes up front, 10 holes in the back, and then we've got eight on either side. So what's that put us at? 36 holes, give or take the door openings. So we're gonna be putting this sucker to use. It's just patiently waiting for its big debut. I can't wait to actually put it to use. It's killing me just seeing it sit here because I see that being one step closer to the building. Now, we're actually gonna probably open up this area here, like some of this overgrowth and maybe some of these rocks taking some of this out and then opening it up because that's actually gonna be kind of an entrance way for the far left door. And then the man door is actually gonna be kind of like right behind Convict's ever so pathetic rear end right now. That being said, my friends, I'm glad we could enjoy this beer together on this lovely night on Memorial Day. Sometimes the best things in life are unplanned and that's even if your camera stops working when it should be working. So grab some 15 times entries for Sarge, the one of one Gloss Army Green F450 Platinum and $30,000 in cash. 15 times entries, biggest multiplier, the entire giveaway. Cheers, guys. We'll see you all in the next upload.